that looked awesome. Hey everyone, welcome back to JR Pro Shot Vids. We're gonna take a look today at the Knockout Black and Blue from Brunswick. So for the review today, we have Brandon back on the lanes. He's gonna compare the Black and Blue against the original Knockout. Now both of these balls feature the original Melee Core. The only difference in the two is the cover stocks on them. We have Savvy Hook 3.0 solid on the original Knockout, Savvy Hook 3.5 solid on the new Knockout Black and Blue. Now what does that mean? The 3.5 is gonna be a little bit stronger, and it also has a sparkle additive to give it a little bit more teeth. So hopefully we have a ball here that handles a little bit more oil. So let's talk about layouts. Brandon likes to tweak his layouts ever so slightly. So he's got a bit of a stronger pin position on this original knockout and a bit of a weaker one on the new one, only because he wants to see it pick up a little bit less. This one's changed direction a lot. He wants a more controllable shape out of this new black and blue. So Brandon's gonna bowl on two different patterns today. We have 42 foot carbon, 10 to one, it's a house shot. And we also have 39 foot middle road, five to one. The back ends are real clean. So we're gonna see a lot of motion off the end of the pattern with these two bowling balls. Now, if you like what you see on our channel, click the join button below and you'll receive exclusive perks and special offers. So that's enough in here. Let's send it out to Brandon on the lands. Randall's back, the new knockout black and blue. We're here on 42 foot carbon, our house shot. And let's see how it looks. I was left to target. I kind of deserve that. Not my best shot. There's a little more hook out here tonight and quite a bit of back end. So I'm really going to try to keep my speed up, trust the ball to the dry boards, try to keep it off the head pin here. Eh, not my best shot. I missed that a bit at the bottom. I'll make a better one here. So the knockout black and blue is the follow-up to the popular knockout from last season. One of my favorite balls. Upper mid-range ball, a solid symmetric. Something that should be a little stronger than your average bowling ball. Something that should look pretty good in the league shot. All right, that was better. That ball looked perfect going through the pins. Pretty strong, quite a strong ball actually, and a little more than I expected. And it's got a nice shape down the lane. What I'm seeing so far is that this ball's quite round. It's not getting down to the end of the oil and then really jerking off the spot and being sharp. It's not flat and rolly either. It's just somewhere in the middle. Just seems to keep on hooking. Let's see if I can repeat that again. a lot of back end. Not bad though. I really think this ball would look a bit better after a few more shots. These lanes are really fresh. I've only thrown a few shots in practice on them, so there's still a lot of back end. It'd probably be more indicative of what practice would look like before the start of league. I could only imagine my look getting better as we continue to bowl. Yeah, that looked awesome. That ball got a little further into the dry, and that just shaped the right way. I'm really happy with that shot. Switching over to the original knockout. I expect this ball to slide a little further down the lane and be a little more responsive at the end of the oil. I'll line up in the same place and let's see what happens. I'm actually pretty close to the black and blue, but again, just a little bit longer and just a little bit sharper. When I reviewed this ball last year, I was really impressed on how many boards I could cover with it. For a mid-range ball, this ball can really bully medium conditions. I like it when I'm opening my angles, standing a little bit further left of my feet, and trying to trust it out to the right. This ball gets really excited off the dry boards. It can recover from a spot that most other balls can't. Moving a couple left here. <laughs> I did not deserve 10 on that. That ball came ripping back. It's an interesting reaction for me because my ball rolls a little bit spinnier and I create a lot of back end as it is. This ball's often a little bit too much, at least in this house. I like to throw this ball in a little bit less back end out there and I gotta create that on my own. One more from inside. Ooh, really sharp, really, really sharp. Let's try the black and blue from in here. 
I think that would just be a little more controllable and get me through the pins the right way where I'd feel more comfortable striking. Those last two were pretty lucky. All right, so moving with the black and blue, hoping for a bit of a smoother, more consistent reaction. Just the way the ball went through the pins looks so much better. It's not quite as sharp, definitely more controllable, and this is something I can see myself using more often. Based on the way I throw the ball, I like seeing balls being a little more smooth and a little more rounded. That strong backhand shape for me is a little bit scary and a little unpredictable for me. Not quite. I see it carrying down right now, actually. Shot's probably getting better to move right. I'm just gonna say soft though. All right, that looked really good. I find that the black and blue in my hands actually doesn't hook as much in terms of boards covered as the original knockout. But it's a little smoother in the way that makes the ball stronger. It's gonna handle oil a little bit better, but not get as excited off the dry boards. I see this somewhere between the knockout and that hero solid. Let's go try this on another pattern. Middle road next door. All right, question time. When you drill a new ball, do you always use your favorite layout on that new ball? Or do you tinker a little bit and try to adjust that ball reaction for a specific pattern or situation? Personally, I like to tinker with my layouts a little bit. I like to fine tune my reaction because I'm not as good with my hand as most other bowlers. This gives me the looks that I want on the balls that I want to use. Let me know what you do down in the comments below. All right, we're off next door to 39 foot middle road, a challenge pattern. Personally, I find this pattern quite difficult for myself. I don't really have the same forgiveness when I miss left to target. So I really have to trust the ball out to the right. Be careful because there's some monster back ends here because these lanes are fresh. Similar spot, more than anything, I'm just moving my eyes out to the right a bit. That looked pretty good. Give it some speed, trust it out to the right. Yeah, when there's just no hole in the middle, you need to throw the ball or you're gonna have some forgiveness. And to me, today, that's the right. All right, let's pick another good shot. That ball's shaped pretty nicely. That's close. Didn't quite throw that as well, but it's still very close. There's a ton of backhand out here today. And honestly, I think urethane might actually be the play right now but we'll make do with what we got today this ball's not too too sharp so i still have a decent shot out there i'm actually going to move right a little bit with my feet and eyes and we're going to take a little more speed in this one oh yeah that was perfect actually this might look better than what i had on the house shot let's do that again what i'm seeing on this knockout black blue is a strong smooth shape this ball is not particularly rolly it's just very round makes a nice move around the corner it just seems like something that's going to fit near the middle of my bag Almost got away with one there. That's not the miss I want to make today. Still, not bad. I'm gonna trust another one out to the right here. Move my feet a little bit more, get some gas. Yeah, I really like that shape. I want to try that original knockout on this. I don't think it's gonna look as good, but hey, let's find out. I think that this earlier, more smooth, consistent type roll is gonna be great on the fresh conditions, particularly when they get a little tougher. I worry that the original might be just a little too sharp and uncontrollable. Let's find out. All right, same alignment, keeping the speed up. Let's see if I can repeat that again. Just sharper. Just wants to see the dry boards and cut left. I think this is more the kind of ball I wanna see on the house shot. Not really my top choice when the leans are tough, but hey, let's try it again. Trust my eyes, one to the right here. It's just not the same look. This ball's pushing a little bit too far down the lane and trying to recover late. When lanes are tough, that's not the kind of shape you want. Early, smooth, consistent, that's gonna keep you in play and maximize your miss room, especially early on, on fresh lanes. I wanna go back to the black and blue. I'm not liking the knockout, the original knockout on this. Let's hook it a little bit before we get back to the shop. A couple balls moving left. Let's go five left. I just really like that on this shot. Honestly, with the black blue, I might have more room on the five to one shot than I did on the 10 to one house shot. It's just doing the right thing at the right time. And honestly, like I wanna fill more spots in my bag for tougher shots. I typically have more options when the lanes are easy, 
but I don't have as many good options in my bag for when the lanes are tough. All the balls that want to be sharp off the back end are a little scary. And here's another ball I can use to stay in play. Let's try this one out to the right a little more. Same foot position though. Yeah, that wasn't my best release. But still, I have way more forgiveness. One more good shot, and we're back to the shop. All right, back to the shop. All right, back from the lanes here, I threw the New Brunswick Knockout Black and Blue against the original Knockout Black Solid. I had a good time out there. Um, both balls looked pretty good and especially on the tougher challenge pattern 39 foot middle road the knock black blue looked amazing it's just a little bit earlier smoother and more controllable than the original knockout which for me was a little bit too sharp when it saw the end of the oil i found that ball a little bit tough to control because it's covering a lot of territory in a short amount of space and for somebody like me who can already create a lot of back end motion with my ball roll i found that staying straight and keeping my speed up was awesome on the fresh lanes but I also still had a decent look getting in and hooking it. I don't think this is a ball that I want to be using when I'm standing all the way left against the ball return late in the day, but it's going to be a ball that's going to be good for the first half of a block when I'm staying a little further right, but I don't need something quite as early rolling and strong as say my Zenith or my Quantum Evo Solid. On the house pattern, both balls look pretty good. And it was just really a coin flip as to what kind of shape I'd be looking for on any particular day as to what ball I'd want in my bag. Personal opinion though, I'd probably still go with the black blue solid just being a little smoother and just being a shape that fits my eye a little bit better. Would I bring both these balls with me to a tournament? Probably not. I find that they're still fairly similar with maybe a surface change or a layout change, or maybe a more drastic layout change than what I had. There may be enough separation to warrant it. If the knockout was your favorite ball last year, then there's totally merit in getting a black blue and adding a little bit of surface and making it a little bit duller to create more of a spread between the two balls. In my hands personally I don't think I saw enough variance to need both of them although both of them could fill different spots in my arsenal and I like to carry more than six balls in my greater arsenal. I recommend the knockout black blue to somebody with ball speed. Myself, Barker, even John. Anybody that's got a little bit of ball speed and, and likes seeing an earlier stronger shape will like this ball. I found it very effective when I wanted to go a little straighter with my angles and it's something that you could really beat up that track area with on a medium to heavy oil condition. What I found very interesting though is that this ball looked good on the challenge pattern. I had just as much margin for error on the 5 to 1 challenge pattern as it in the 10 to 1 house pattern. That wasn't the case with the black solid. Yeah, that was kind of an interesting little little thing I saw. When I see a ball that matches well on tougher conditions, that really interests me and becomes a piece that I'm much more inclined to put into my tournament bag. As far as where this ball fits in my arsenal, I found that the knockout black blue is just a little bit stronger down the lane than my Hero Solid. In terms of ball reaction that it most reminds me of, it's probably closest to my Obsession Tour. And that's my favorite ball right now. Final thoughts, the Knockout Black Blue is gonna be a really effective, versatile piece that's gonna help me out in my Challenge League. It's something I can stay straight with and keep my speed up, especially in the medium to shorter patterns, but it's also a ball I can open the lane up with as the day goes on and keep it in my hands a little bit longer. That's a trait that I don't see very often out of a lot of balls, where I find many balls are pigeonholed for either dry or oily, maybe playing straight or hooking it. Here's something I can do a bit of everything with. It's a really nice benchmark piece. I think it's gonna suit a lot of bowlers, and I'm expecting to see a lot of these balls out on the lane. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and please comment below, and let us know what kind of layouts you like to use on your new bowling balls. Please click the join button down below, become a member, and receive exclusive perks. See you next time.